we are here at Hotel Rio Cancun, located in the one and only Cancun Hotel Zone, Cancun, Mexico, enjoying our 2024 vacation in paradise. And I would just like to talk about what is included in an all-inclusive resort. As the name suggests, all things should be included, but that really means most things. Just keep in mind that resorts will generate revenue from as many sources as they can. Of course, the, the idea for, at least from the consumer's perspective, is that there shouldn't be too many things that are extra, otherwise it just feels like you're being charged for everything after you already paid for your vacation. Um, so just keep in mind that things that might not be included are obviously the spa services, and if you go to a restaurant, you might find that there's a charge for certain bottles of wine. Uh, so spa services, gift shop, um, but just as a general rule of thumb, I would just say, Always ask if you're not sure because you don't want to see an extra charge really anywhere, especially if that's something that would make you upset and irritated. So some resorts, it's really more than others. So we're at, we're at Rio Resort right now. One thing I like about Rio Resorts is that there aren't really any areas for the most part that you cannot access. It's not gonna say, oh, well, club members only, club members only. No, the pools are for everyone. All parts of the resort are for everyone. So I just, I don't like to see a resort necessarily where there's beautiful facilities that you can't access. But again, keep in mind that that's how resorts make money. They might designate an area for club members only, a restaurant for club members only. And the club basically means that you're essentially paying more money per night for some extra facilities, uh, maybe extra restaurants, an extra pool here and there, an extra lounge, maybe a rooftop lounge, um, an extra s specific part of a building that has nicer rooms. Um, so just keep in mind, is, is that worth it to you? If so, you know, feel free to pay extra, feel free to, to buy those things that are additional, maybe uh, some specific dishes at restaurants that are labeled with an extra cost, bottles of wine, spa services, but just keep in mind, um, as many people know, as you know, and you probably don't need to watch this video, but all-inclusive um, generally means that it's almost all-inclusive. It doesn't mean not, not to be taken literally, but in some resorts they do it better than others, in some resorts I hear people saying in interviews that they really, resorts might sometimes go a little bit too far in trying to generate that extra revenue by really making it feel like certain, a lot of things are inaccessible if you're not paying extra or not part of the club. But just keep in mind that in, in, in a few resorts, they will generate extra revenue by having a club level that gives you access, access to extra things. Um, so just keep that in mind when you do your research, read reviews, watch videos. But all-inclusive generally will mean that rest, uh, restaurants, uh, buffet, pools, a mini bar in the room, you get your alcohol and sometimes they have snacks and soda. Uh, cleaning services in the room. But one thing I would say is um, I would definitely bring money for tipping, single dollar bills, five dollar bills, um, because it is so, so, so much appreciated by the workers and the employees here who work so hard to make this a fantastic experience. Not just because um, it's helpful um, financially, and of course it is, that's extremely important, that is first and foremost the most important thing. But it also just makes people remember that they are being noticed. And I feel the same way at work. Sometimes people just expect work to be done. They never say thank you. But that's a good way of saying thank you. Bring some single dollar bills, some five dollar bills. And just understand that if you can, after you paid for vacation, um, I would just recommend if you really, if it's possible for you to, to bring some single dollar bills and five dollar bills or some pesos. And just as you see fit, just to, to give it to those workers who are really, really putting in all that work, and really everyone is. The, the cleaning staff, the people sweeping the floors, um, cleaning, cleaning the bathrooms, um, taking care of the grounds, um, at the buffet, taking all the plates, running around, possibly understaffed. So I would just say I tip a lot more than I used to because I really just understand that. Yes, all-inclusive means that tipping is supposed to be included, but but just, just know that it is very, very much appreciated by the workers who are here so many hours of the day, just trying to make sure that everyone passing through these doors has a great experience. So just keep that in mind. It's not, it's not to say I'm, I'm better than other people because I tip. I'm not trying to put myself on a pedestal here. All I'm saying is that tipping is appreciated. It really, really goes a long way. And for me, I just found that, yes, I paid for the vacation, but I can always have a little bit more money to spare. and. I do, it makes me feel good that, to just understand that the money does go a long way and it's also the thought that counts really, just showing people that all the workers, no matter where they are working, maybe in the background, not customer facing roles, but that their work is appreciated, people sweeping the floors nonstop, uh, for example. So it's always appreciated, tipping um, might be included. 
but it does go a long way. So single dollar bills, five dollar bills, I highly recommend it. The workers, this wonderful staff appreciate it very, 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 very much. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. All inclusive resorts. A great um, uh, business model all around. Everyone's happy, but just keep in mind that some things might have an extra cost. So if you're ever um, not sure, you can always just feel free to ask just to make sure that you're not going to be surprised later with an extra charge.